What's up guys, it's Dark13, and in this video tutorial, I will be showing you all on how you can jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad on iOS 5.0.1. So this jailbreak is completely untethered, and we can do this using the latest version of Red Snow. Currently, this jailbreak works for the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPod Touch 4th generation, and the iPad 1. So if you have an iPad 2 and, or an iPhone 4S, do not attempt this because it will not work. Now remember, this jailbreak is untethered only for iOS 5.0.1. So if you're on iOS 5.0, make sure you update because it will not work. Don't even try if you have a device on iOS 5.0. So let's get right on into this. Currently I have an iPod Touch 4G. Um, I have one on iOS 5.0.1. I just updated it. It's a fresh restore. Um, so once you have your 5.0.1 device ready, then you can get your uh, Red Snow program ready. So I'll have two download links in the description down below. Uh, so download one for Mac if you have a Mac, download one for PC if you have a PC, but as you guys can see I have one right here for Mac. Double click the zip file to open it um, or unzip it on Windows and you want to open up the Red Snow program as you guys can see right there like I'm doing. Uh, on Windows make sure you right click the program and click run as administrator just so you don't run into any problems. So then you just want to click jailbreak and now you're going to put your device into DFU mode which I will be showing you all on how to do right now. Okay so to put your iDevice into DFU mode make sure it is plugged in and on. So basically now you want to hold down the power button and slide the power off just like that and just wait for it to turn off and then what you can do is you can hold down the power button for three seconds 1001, 1002, 1003 and then press the home button and leave both of them down for six seconds 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006 then let go of the power button and continue to hold down the home button until Red Snow recognizes your device alright guys so once Red Snow has recognized your device it should um, well, once it's recognized it in DFU mode, it should, you know, do all the jailbreak stuff. As you guys can see, it's going on right now. You want to click install Cydia and enable battery percentage. I'm not going to um, install a custom bundle or enable multitask gestures, but just click next. And it will just, you know, do some more stuff, jailbreak stuff, whatever. Um, on your iDevice you should see a little picture of a hard drive and it should say downloading jailbreak data with a little green arrow and you should see a whole bunch of text scrolling on your iPod touch uh, but you know everyone has already seen that who's used Red Snow before so now you can simply exit out of Red Snow um, close this window alright so as you guys can see this is the line of code that should be going down on the uh, screen of your device. I know I'm, it's weird that I'm holding my device like this, but uh, it's pretty much to stop all the reflection and everything. Um, but it should say, um, you know, you should have the picture of the pineapple running. And it should be this little loader letting you know what's going on. All right, so once the pineapple has disappeared, your device should simply reboot. And you know, this is really, really cool because you know everyone's used to you know, oh, it's rebooting. Now I got to plug it back in and rerun Red Snow just to get it to boot back up. Uh, but now this is a completely untethered jailbreak, meaning you can turn off your device completely fine and turn it back on. Doesn't matter. Your device is jailbroken. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, unfortunately. This does not work for iOS 5.0, so you have to upgrade to 5.0.1. And this jailbreak does also not work for the iPad 2, the iPhone, or the iPhone 4S. Uh, so let's just slide to unlock. And as you guys can see right there, we got Cydia. Uh, so that has been this jailbreak. If it worked for you guys, please click the like button and subscribe to me. And if you have any problems, leave a comment down below. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one.